Look, here our volunteers are getting food, uh, taking coffee after making great soup. But of course, not forgetting to discuss political issues, and that's why the president is on the screen here in Cantin, and uh, there are debates on how soon we'll get the victory. But for sure, we are sure that Ukraine will win because with such a willpower and also with such enormous support and so many prayers all over the world and also because this war is so unjust and so unfair from russians that we can only win thank you for your support and now you will see the most beautiful dutch woman on the planet and that's what she is busy with you see we're bringing the the bread to microbuses which are driving to the east from us and they will pick up to more people from uh, occupied territories which were just rescued so they're bringing fresh bread and uh, they will be driving people back so that's what we are now busy with trying to serve and to widen the territories because God is opening other territories where we can deliver some food supplies and breads and it's very difficult to say no when you know that people did not see bread for three weeks so we try to bake a bit more and deliver there as well so thank you that you stay with us this is macaroon soup today you see fresh and warm and tasty uh, and now the final touch look Ah, there's some spices and and here there is a Ukrainian music and we have potatoes ready for tomorrow. Let's enjoy the music. So we continue feeding people with a simple food. Uh, and the beauty of uh, what is done, it's really this, this idea and thought didn't come from us. It was on the second day of the war. Just God gave this understanding, just give simple food, so warm bread warm soup uh, people cannot speculate with that you, you don't take it too much we give one bread per person and we give just a simple food today i'll try to make some video again from the cafe to show uh, to show what how what type of people are coming also how they're getting the the word of support the word of, word of hope and the word of salvation so thank you that you're with us We hear now that Syrian on which is warning about air alert. So it means that somewhere missiles are flying or rockets are flying or a military airplane is approaching this location. So in fact you have to be to stay somewhere inside so we probably will also stay inside the car because we have to drive further uh, it's now that the, this alerts they are not very precise it's, so it doesn't mean that it will happen precisely here in the town on the other hand you never know when when and where it will come so people are getting used to these sounds and uh, they don't react much there are some people which are still hiding, but uh, I think 95% in even more of people, they just, they hear it. And if we don't see explosions like uh, within, I don't know, two, 300 meters from us, then people don't react much. And otherwise, indeed, you can be inside and then you are a bit more protected. Yeah, but we especially don't go now to basements because the danger that uh, you will lay under the uh, under the ruins of the house 
is bigger than the probability that uh, you will be attacked by the missile exactly into your house. So we continue driving, we have to go to some rehab centers now to check because we heard that there are more people which need food, so we took some bread in a, in a car. We took some cakes also, and now we, we go to, to, to see whom is there and how we can help. Here I came to one of the rehabilitation center. You can see verses from Bible. These are tables, this is kind of kitchen. And we brought some bread today, cakes. We, we are looking simply how many people are here to feed them. Ah, and here, so you have, you see the verse from God, save those which are taken for the death. And here, some open heart center. And it's written that where there is God's spirit, there is a freedom. Yeah. Funny that there is Ukrainian and British flag. But uh, in these circumstances, uh, rehabilitation centers are suffering from a lack of financing, but also a lack of support. Everyone is now concentrated on uh, on a war. So we try to support with them with basic food daily. Good day. You will ask how children diapers are connected to baking. Well, in Bake for Ukraine, everything is connected. So this is our son, Daniel, and he is sorting out the diapers which we received from uh, Netherlands, from Poland, and from Germany. People heard about our ministry to, to the poor here with bread and soup, and they sent some, some more things. Well, th this, look, this is also diapers, and we try to distribute them. We are giving them to people here in the town, but uh, even more we are sending them to the more far villages and to more far towns, uh, which are suffering uh, much more because shops are not working. We had here uh, some food supplies we distributed. Uh, we are expecting today some more also uh, like cereals, uh, buckwheat, uh, macaroons, and other products that we can share with people. Uh, but normally we are sending them with micro buses uh, that are going uh, every day and uh, they are going to more east uh, from us. At the same time, uh, through the churches, local churches here and in the neighborhood, we are giving out uh, the, the diapers, all kind of uh, hygiene, personal hygiene items. Uh, but also we have here some clothes. We have here... Let me see some, yeah, uh, some wipes. You can see some shampoos for children, for adults. Uh, we also got some uh, uh, diapers for adults. Uh, and uh, that is of great need, of course, for those people who cannot move and uh, uh, who are not well taken care of. But it's too dangerous or too difficult to transport them to more safe places. So... I wanted to thank very much everyone who is supporting us and sending your encouraging messages. Uh, with one message I wanted to share, uh, there is one church in the Netherlands which is specifically oriented on uh, people with uh, disabilities and they had a special service. Uh, the service was about uh, a story when uh, Jesus took uh, five breads and two fishes and shared it among 5,000 people and it was enough. And that's exactly how we feel here. We started just with few bags of flour in our bakery uh, and we had very, we were very short on yeast but, uh, and we had no people. Uh, and really just in few days uh, volunteers just from neighboring uh, houses appeared. There were enough people first, uh, then we were able to buy, uh, to find uh, some, somewhere the one of the warehouses, uh, we found uh, yeast, so we bought a bit of yeast, then we bought a bit more flour, and then flour was supplied uh, from Zealandia, we could use uh, the, the flour, we could use the sugar, but also more of our friends from the west of Ukraine, they heard that uh, we started this ministry, so they sent us some more raw materials, and then all of you stepped in because we needed money for fuel, we needed money to, to pay to uh, volunteers 
and uh, now we are collecting more money in fact than than we need uh, now we don't know of course how long it will last uh, the, the need is growing there are more and more people and that's why we try to extend our ministry not only to this town but that's exactly why we are getting all these uh, bags and boxes and we are sending them uh, more far to the east of the country and i will share with you just some thoughts which lay on my heart but th these are yeah almost dreams we are already thinking about what after victory and uh, what i see that uh, god is given the, the thought and idea after the victory using the funds which we collected uh, we could help other people in other towns and villages which were completely destroyed or a lot of destructions were there to start small bakeries there so we could lease some second-hand equipment uh, or new equipment to them we could give them training because we have technological specialists and uh, using uh, the uh, raw materials from Zealandia we could supply them with credit of raw materials and helping them to start up the business and if business goes and this can be controlled then they can get subsidy so they would not uh, pay back full amount for for the equipment but uh, it would be partially if they reach certain criteria like if they employ so many people if they are able to pay so much taxes if they are able to also make some charity with their bread so in this way we hope that our example of the small bakery here in the town can become uh, also a rollout for many other bakeries after the war uh, to be able to rebuild communities, to be able to support churches, to be able to support people in need in towns and villages uh, around and more at the east which uh, and the south of Ukraine, which are unfortunately now completely destroyed by uh, Russian troops by Russian missiles uh, and by Russian tanks. Uh, so this is on our heart. Uh, it's the first time I share it uh, on public. So please pray for that also with us. And if you have some ideas on that, if, if you have some organized support possible, especially on the equipment side, then please uh, reach out to me uh, personally on Messenger, on, uh, in, on Facebook Messenger or in Instagram. Or if, if you need my number, then write to me personally and I will uh, reply to you. But it's now already the, something what we are thinking about in future because uh, we see the need and we see how much just fresh bread can make for people. How open hearts of people are becoming just from simple fresh bread and from a bit of soup. So please stay with us, pray for us, support us if you can, but also share these messages with others. And this will enable all of us not only to uh, win this war, but to rebuild the country in future and to bring the message of hope, the message of living bread, which is Jesus Christ, to many, many people here in the country and through that also to the rest of the world. Thank you very much and may God bless your day today.